In order to perform fast multiplication, Karatsuba's method uh, provides us with a quick way of achieving uh, faster computation time. What is that? Uh, imagine you try to multiply just, uh, as an example, two four-digit numbers. So let's say 1,234 or 43 multiplied by 5,678. If you want to proceed with traditional greatest school method, you would say, I have to compute it by multiplying every single digit by another single digit. So you would say, starting from the least significant digit, 8, then you would say it's 8 times 3, uh, 8 times 4, 8 times 2, and 8 times 1. And that would form one number. Um, and then for the second one, you would say you put 0, and then 7 times 3, um, 7 times 4, and 7 times 2, and 7 times 1, and so on. You continue this. For the next one, you would say 6 times 3, uh, 6 times 4, 6 times 2, 6 times 1. And you continue this. For the next one, you put another 0 and 5 times 3 and so on. So you can see that, as expected, to achieve this, you would need to deal with 16 single digit multiplication, no wonder. So in this scenario, when number of digits of the number is 4, and it's a 4 digit by 4 digit multiplication, you are you require to compute 16 uh, single digit by single digit multiplication. So the complexity of uh, the greatest school traditional multiplication algorithm is of the complexity of 4 to the power 2. 4 being the number of digits. In general, when you have n digit for your number and you're doing n digit by n digit multiplication, the complexity of traditional multiplication algorithm is just n square. That's uh, corresponding, uh, that's the amount of time that it will take for a machine uh, to compute. So as n is becoming a larger number, the time it takes for a computer to compute the multiplication would scale up by square of n. So the whole idea is how can we how we can reduce this this complexity? Can we, for example, find a, a method that can be of complexity big O of n to the power say um, something? Let's say 1.6 uh, for the exponentiation for the power of n, so that it would be faster for computer to come up with the result of multiplication or not. Well, one uh, well-known method is Karatsuba method, in which we say, okay, so let's just generalize the problem. In this case, let's just stick with four digit by four digit, but rather, rather than using uh, specific numbers, um, or actually maybe we can just uh, stick with, with this example to illustrate better. So let's say we want to deal with this problem. I'm going to break it down into 1200 plus 43 and uh, multiply it by 5600 plus 78. So in Karatsuba's method, we are saying, all right, I'm going to rewrite this 1200 by 5600 as 10 to the power 4 times 12 times 56 plus then 1200 by 78 plus 43 times 5600. So it's going to be 100 times uh, 12 times 78 plus 43 times 56 plus 43 times 78 okay so what is the thing we achieved looks like we are still dealing with the same complexity because I have to deal with multiplying uh, two two digit and to achieve that obviously I need to deal with multiplication of four single digits so I still have to compute four uh, multiplication here the same for this guy and the same for this guy 
also for this. So I still have to deal with 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 16, uh, single digit by single digit multiplication. Nothing achieved. But here's the trick. Um, now we can actually say, how about this? Uh, instead of writing it this way, I'm going to write 12 plus 43 times 56 plus 78. If I do this, then the outcome of this guy is 12 times 56 plus 43 times 78 plus uh, 12 times 78 plus 43 times 56. So what is the significance of this? Well, for a second, I neglect the possibility that the outcome of this summation can be three digit. Let's assume it's a two digit number by two digit number. So to achieve this multiplication, you will need to deal with two digit by two digit multiplication. And that require again, four single digit by single digit multiplication. Same here same here. Now the nice thing is as soon as you compute these three guys you have dealt with um, um, 12 multiplication if you don't further apply Karatsuba algorithm and then you don't need to compute this because you would say this whole thing is just equal to left hand side minus this minus that. So um, looks like uh, by just doing 12 multiplication, you're done because you computed this component here, you computed this component here, and you computed this component, which is this side minus these two guys. So you, com you computed all the components needed to achieve the overall multiplication by 12 single digit by single digit multiplier instead of 16. That's an improvement. But we can proceed further. Why did we stop here? I mean, I can apply this method, this Karatsuba method, further on to each of these guys for computation of this rather than needing uh, to deal with four single digit by single digit multiplier. I can reapply Karatsuba method, which is exactly this one, meaning that I can say 12 is actually 10 plus 2, 56 is actually 50 plus 6. And then uh, here I can say it's uh, 1 times 5, 10 to the power 2, because it's 0, there are two zeros involved. And then I can say 10 times, 10 times 6, so it's 1 times 6, plus 2 times 5. And then finally I can say 2 times 6. So using the same scheme, I don't need to compute this, I just need to compute this guy, uh, say, uh, getting rid of 10 to this, so I can rewrite this as 1 plus 2 times 5 plus 6, and uh, from 1 plus 2 times 5 plus 6, I can get um, 1 times 5 plus uh, 1 times 6 plus 2 times 5, plus 2 times 6. So see, I don't need to compute this. I just need to compute this guy and then compute this and compute this. So again, we need, I just need to deal with three single digit multiplication rather than four to find this and all the components. So all I'm trying to say is in every step of breaking down um, the overall multiplication into smaller multiplication, rather than needing to deal with four things. I need to deal with three multiplication. So overall speaking in this scenario, um, I need to deal with three to the two significant single digit multiplication versus the traditional method of four to the two single digit. Um, you can con four to the two is coming from the fact that um, every step, let me put it this way, because your number is if uh, in this scenario is a four digit by four digit multiplication then there are two steps involved because in step one you break the first each of these two numbers into two 
digit numbers and in a step two then you take each of these two digit number and further break it into single digit number so and that when you get to that point problem is done so there are two step and that's why this two the power of four is actually log n base two so um, and in each step um, you need to uh, deal with four multiplication in the traditional method so you're dealing with four to the power log n base two uh, which translate to uh, or is equal to n square in this case you're dealing with three to the power log n base two for the simpli for the simplified case of n being um, a power of two number but 3 is equal to um, 2 to the power of 1.6 roughly so I can say it's 2 to the power of 1.6 instead of 3 to the power log n base 2 and this obviously is 2 to the power of 1.6 log n base 2 which means is 2 to the log n to the power 1.6 base 2 which is basically n to the power 1.6 so no wonder the complexity of the problem is now reduced to uh, big O of n to the power 1.6 that's a considerable improvement compared with or compared to um, what we had before which was um, big O of n square so the computation time will reduce substantially if you use Karatsuba algorithm for fast multiplication instead of grade school traditional method. Uh, now, going back as a last point to why we are saying over here that we can just simply assume that the sum of these two numbers will be effectively two-digit um, number. And let's say we can neglect the fact that the sum, like in this scenario, can be three digit the answer is because even if it becomes three digit number we always know what is the most significant third digit which is always one say in this scenario you're saying 12 plus 43 times 56 plus 78 is 134 right which is equal to 12 plus 43 is uh, 50 5 times 134 okay I can rewrite 134 as 100 plus 34 which means I have to say it's 5500 plus 55 times 34 see this one is not a significant operation because I know that when this thing becomes the sum of these two guys becomes three digit this most significant digit is going to always be one so the only thing I need to do is take the other one and just put two zeros in front of there is no actual multiplication happening and therefore the only significant multiplication remains a two digit by two digit multiplication so that's why the assumption that the outcome of this from significance of operation perspective is only two digit by two digit is still valid all right um, so I hope that this um, brief explanation and example showcases how Karatsuba achieves fast multiplication compared to traditional um, grade school uh, multiplication methodology.